Dragging your heart around in the lost and found. Bushu Kakina Awia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Storytime. My name is Emily Aubrey. This over here, oh, uh, be still, my beating heart. Get out of here. <laughs> this is Michael Lyons. Ikadon, bonjour, Michael Lyons. Say hello, Michael Lyons. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the show. And today, we're going to talk about a very special book. A very special, what's the Ojibwe word for book? Um, Mazina Igun. Mazina Igun. Mazina Igun. This is a book, a Dabaji Moen, a story about what? Um, this is the book. Uh, what's it called? Someone Like Me. And we tried to do a reading yesterday. It didn't go very well, but let's try it again today. <laughs> okay. Someone Like Me by Patricia McLaughlin. Illustrated by Chris Shaben. All right, go ahead, Michael. Someone Like Me. Someone, actually, can you read this? Oh, sure. Someone Like Me by Patricia McLaughlin. And illustrated by Chris Shaben. If you were a little girl who listened to stories over and over and over, Jack the horse and 12 cows broke through the fence and walked all the way to town. Aunt Emma's dog with three names, Tommy, Rascal, and come along. If you were a little girl who read books every night, every day, walking home from the library, reading as her mother led her across the streets, a girl who had, who hid under the floored tablecloth, the flowered tablecloth of the dinner table, watching the shoes of the grown-ups who told secrets and never knew she was there, who tried to teach her dog to talk by moving his lips like hers and her chicken's beak too, and loved climbing the cottonwood tree, watching the sky that flew above her, and who ran away once with a little boy who told her that he'd find her a white horse and didn't. Oh, look how sad she is. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And followed people listening to their talk and their songs and how they laughed. He's playing a guitar. Yep. If you were a girl whose great-grandmother loved the smell and feel of prairie earth, and ran through the grasses, sending the geese on the slough to fly up, around, and back again. Then maybe you could grow up to be someone who carries small bags of sweet prairie earth. Someone who writes about how the sky looks through the branches of the trees. Geese against the clouds. And writes about talking dogs and chickens who scratch stories in the dirt, and a white horse to ride through dreams. You might be someone like me, a rider. Oh, uh, oh look at that little dog. <laughs> yep. And this has been Someone Like Me. Just a terrific book. To learn more about someone like me, I don't know, visit your local library. Library. That's what he said. 
You know what you said. <laughs> Okay, hey, Buju! Buju! Welcome to Buju Nana Buju. I am Nana Buju. And I am Natasha! <laughs> <laughs> and we'd like to invite you to join the but Buju Crew membership channel. For $4.99 monthly, you get exclusive perks, I've got exclusive no members only live stream. <laughs> Auntie Tasha's moment of wisdom, huh, sweetie? That's right. And after today, <laughs> uh, candid behind-the-scenes discussions with creator Michael Lyons. And uh, new music videos, dead celebrity interviews from heaven, what have you. <laughs> and of course, cat videos of Bagheera. <laughs> Click the link below. Join the Buju Crew membership channel. Four ninety nine a month. We'll see you there, <laughs> and I will see you again. Kiga waba min. Minoa. Oa. Oa. So it goes, or so they say. Times like a mountain scape. I don't know, but I can't complain. God knows I've got my own escape.